Hi, this is Carrie O'Gorman, your world's Mrs. Great Lakes Tourism 2018, and I am here again at the Cosmic Film Festival, and I have met a new friend, and his name is... James F. Bailey, Esquire the Third, the Magentleman. And he has totally blown my mind tonight on a magic trick that he did with me. So we're going to find out a little bit more about him. And how long have you been a magician for? Uh, it's going on 11, 11 and a half years professionally. I got interested when I was a kid, back when Nickelodeon still had like really good live action, uh, especially their Halloween specials. Um, it was a filmed at the Magic Castle. It had Lance Burton and Tina Lenert. And a lot of people don't know, they know Lance, but they don't, somehow they've forgotten Tina. But she has one of the most amazing illusions I've ever seen. She did it on the show. Um, it's kind of like the guy, uh, Tate Face from America's Got Talent, where he made a thing come to life, his dress that he was dancing with. She's the one that kind of started all that. She has a beautiful routine where she's like a, a, a maid just cleaning up a hotel or something. And on her service cart, she gets really lonely, and you can tell she's dreaming of, like, bigger things. And then her mop, she makes her mop come to life and turn into a, a gentleman, like a gentleman mop. And he'll turn a handkerchief into a diamond bracelet. He'll uh, give her extravagant things, and then they take off into the sunset together. And just those, her scenes and Lance's inspired me to try to learn more and do more with that. Well, I tell you what, the, the tricks you did out there for us, those were great. Do you have something to show us here? I see you have your cards out. Absolutely. I always have something. Uh, that's the thing. I, I, I take it to heart very dearly with uh, David Blaine because he, he gets asked the question all the time in his interviews, especially recently for his tour that's going on right now. It, it's always, do you ever stop performing? The answer is no. Most of us really enjoy it. And it's a chance to practice, even when we're not doing any gigs or anything like that. It's a chance to get our skills, because uh, it's, it's kind of like a second language. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. So a lot of this, you have to keep it going. Uh, so please grab one out of there. Just one. There's one gentleman here who keeps picking two, and it's hilarious. He doesn't mean to do it, but I'm like, sir, you need to, you need to go play with my friends <laughs> and mess them up. So take a look at the card. Show it to the camera. Don't show it to me. And then uh, say stop. Right there. It was actually pretty quick. <laughs> I had some uh, love of the lady. She said stop almost immediately as I started dropping. I'm like... Oh, you're trying to stop me before anything bad can happen. <laughs> oh. But it's actually quite funny. Uh, all these cards. And just to show you, uh, your card wasn't the Eight of Diamonds. Nope. Perfect. And it definitely wasn't the Ten of Clubs. All right, so what I need you to do is I need you to focus really hard on whatever your card was. Don't say it out loud. You might see it in a second. And the one card shot out of the deck here, and just to make sure, before I reveal this, all different, correct? And your card for the first time? Wow. Now is he not amazing? That, that, wow, that just totally blows me away. Now, can you let anybody know if they want to, do you do private shows? Oh, I do. All kinds of stuff. I do uh, private shows, corporate events, trade shows, birthday parties, weddings. Pretty much, I've been hired for some things that I never thought was ever going to happen. Um, for instance, I got hired for, like I told you earlier, a beauty pageant. I got hired for a... Um, not, it's not a bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah for, for the young lady turning of age. I got hired for that. And it's, it's just a weird but very pleasurable thing to be able to take my magic, take some enjoyment, and share it with people. Because it all is, the performing is cool, but seeing the look of joy on people's faces, they have that magic moment in their eyes every time you do something, it, it's giving something back to people. It's giving them a moment of escape from reality.
Right, right. I I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me, man. You've totally, totally blown my mind. <laughs> so how do people reach you on social media or with an agent? Uh, right now, it's just me, my own little lonesome self. Uh, you can find me on pretty much everything, Facebook, YouTube, uh, www.themagentleman.com, M-A-G-E-N-T-L-E-M-A-N. Uh, short for Magic Gentleman. Pretty much look up them a gentleman. You'll find me on almost every form of social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. Great, great. Thank you. Can I have one of your business cards? Absolutely. Perfect. Glad you asked. So what we have here is my business cards, and she could take any one of these that she wants, I swear. <laughs> and again, I am so sorry. This keeps happening. And now she could take any one that she wants. Right. Thank you so much, James. This is Carrie O'Gorman, your World's Mrs. Great Lakes Tourism, reporting live here at the Cosmic Film Festival for the Hollywood Connections and Don Rees Show and the Tantalk Radio 106.1 FM, VH2 Network TV. Thank you. I'm going to try to entertain you for about the next 10, 15 minutes ish. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Always nice to hear a fan. For this, uh, for this trick, I need a volunteer, and ma'am, with the lovely TR and Sash, would come up this way. And as she does, everybody give her a round of applause. Alright, so we're going to take the end of this, 
end of that. One more time, we're going to go up like this. Perfect. Just like that. Got it. This and just like this. So for the final uh, one, we're going to take this. We're going to tie this all together. Just like that. Now we're going to take uh, three more. We're make three more knots just like this. And then if you would, uh, very carefully, because I like my fingers, snip in between. Just like that. Perfect. One knot. I'm very clean. <laughs> and then one more time, maybe two more times. Want some popcorn? Good, perfect. And now, for this last part of this trick, uh, the scissors. Ready? Just in case you don't like how to do this trick. Perfect. So I'm going to go behind you, come right here in the center stage, facing everybody. And I'm going to reach around and I'm going to grab the. Uh, Okay. You're actually quicker than most people. Alright, so on the count of three, you're going to blow the two knots. You're going to blow all three knots off of this rope for me. On the count of three. All at one time? All at one time. One, two, three. <laughs> See, sometimes you have to blow really hard. <laughs>